It's Kelly. So, the old girl went, went over 100,000 miles, and we took it in for the 100,000 mile checkup, and uh, there was nothing wrong with the car. We get the car back, and suddenly the brakes start making a funny noise. Uh, sure enough, they had found a couple of problems. The, uh, they, did re they did a brake job on it and replaced it with aftermarket brakes. Oh, not aftermarket, but uh, after factory brakes, but it, they were from Toyota. They were the brakes that Toyota recommended, and they were making some goofball noises. This is, you know, after seventeen hundred dollars worth, worth of work done on the car. Uh, it's been a great car. It's now eight years old, I think, and it, that's the first time it's ever cost us any money, really. So hey, so be it. I'll, I'll drop a few bucks on it. Still making noise. What? Okay, hold on. We we got noise. We need to get it fixed. <clears throat> So, rent a car, put the car in, uh, they can't figure out what's going on, uh, they, they go in, readjust everything, tighten everything up, uh, get it back, day two, still makes a noise. Take it back third day, and the car, uh, we get the car back, uh, Nat leaves her first aid kit in the, the Toyota, uh, what was it, a Toyota a RAV4 underneath the wheel well. One of these days I'm going to have to show you that secret compartment that the up until 2013 they had where the seats used to fold back, the rear, the third row of seats used to fold into the floor. Where that goes, if you if you lift up one of those, uh, the back, uh, uh, you open up the door, you lift up the back cardboard, whatever the hell that stuff, a big sheet of plastic, and there's a space underneath there above the wheels uh, for stuff to go in. Nobody knows about it. Even the people who work at Toyota don't seem to know it's there. <coughs> Get the car back. Uh, well, what they did is they, instead of replacing the brakes uh, again, what they did is they actually took factory brakes this time and they put them on the car. So we have brand new factory Toyota brakes. You know, you don't mess with brakes and uh, we've never had this car go to anybody except them so they can't really blame it on anybody else. <clears throat> but then we get the car back after they replaced it with brand new factory brakes and we're like, wait a minute, now what's going on? We hear another noise in the back of the car. Natalie does. It's like, dig, 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 noise. I get in the car and I can hear it. And I'm like, oh crap, that sounds like the fuel pump. Because <laughs> the fuel pump's right underneath the back seat in these cars. But I start playing around and I notice something. So I, I, the car made the noise dig, 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 while it was sitting still. I sort of rev the engine a little bit and it didn't make noise anymore. And I'm like, hmm fuel pump it wouldn't do that it would continue to make a noise and it wouldn't be kind of random sound it would be constant and it wouldn't have anything to do with vibration in the car so it wasn't the fuel pump what it was was this guy for some reason here's the the wrench that comes with the car we have this other wrench in here i think it's because we have i think it's because we have locking mechanisms on the on the wheels and i think we need this other wrench in here to match the size of those locking mechanisms so what I did is I took this thing that is basically a tablecloth and shoved it underneath the other tire iron and end a problem. And I mean, I was ready to tear, start tearing this car apart myself or hunt down another mechanic. <laughs> and she was ready to take the car back into them and scream at them. And I'm like, you know how bad that would have looked <laughs> to have all this real trouble with the car and the brakes making a grindy noise. And then all of a sudden having an issue that is just, oh, the uh, the tire iron was banging around in the back of the car. Yeah, kind of glad we kind of glad we caught this one before we actually took it in. So if y'all had any kind of crazy car adventures, let me know in the comments.